Oh well, good morning. Good morning. Quick walk around. Here's the new. Uh, here's the new bike. Uh, now we're not normally one to give bikes names, but uh, we sort of felt like it was time to give a bike a name. Uh, so this one has uh, officially got the title of Atlas uh, because this one's going to take us on a few different places around the world, hopefully. Um, so this is Atlas, our um, BMW R1250 GS Adventure. Got the uh, first test of the camera on the front of the bike. We'll see how that goes. It's a little little tricky trying to find a good spot to put it. Got the uh, rig and ride sticker up front. Uh, put the GPS. Got the GPS mounted. So we'll see how that goes today. And uh, yeah, ready to rock and roll. Good morning. Here we are. First bit of gravel road. So she's going to get some dust on her today. We're still on the uh, <laughs> we're still on the stock tyres, which are very road bias, but uh, actually doesn't feel too bad. How's it feel back there? It's, well, so far not a skatey underneath, but I think there's pretty hard pack. So we'll see how it feels when I get on a bit of pea gravel. Yeah. I'm still just loving the, the plushness that just absorbs the road bumps. Yep, sort of like learning to ride all over again. <laughs> With the added value if you've just got a, you know, a brand new bike, so you want to be a bit cautious. Yes. Come out the other side of the scarp here, bloody beautiful. a bit of seal. Oh that's right this is that stunning little corner the little settlement down in here. Yeah.
There you go. Back to road mode, just like that. Oh wow, on the fly. On the fly. Well, that's easier. Well, everything seems to be going pretty well so far. We're uh, we're just doing these gravel sections in the enduro mode, which uh, I believe just turns off the ABS and the uh, traction control and alters the suspension for us. Um, feels pretty good. No complaints from the passenger. No complaints from the back seat. <laughs> so nice out here. So we're heading, uh, ultimately at the moment, we're heading for Grimwade again. Uh, this sort of brings us in from the top west side. Yep. And then we're not actually going to continue on. This is a, a trail that we have ridden before, but we're stitching a couple together just to do a little loop and get. Yeah, us out this of is it. actually this is actually the reverse of the Manjimup uh, getaway. Yeah, this little bit up here, but oh, they might have had a. I think they've they had might have had a buddy loader or a grader up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely been recently graded. It has been. Oh, a bit of dust. <laughs> Well, that was disappointing. Yeah, I thought that might have been a bit rutted out still. Oh well, <laughs> never mind. Oh, I love this piece. It's just so stunning. Good, eh? Back end's way more stable, eh? Yeah. Autumn time down here in Grimwade, all right. <laughs> all the deciduous trees that got brought in here, it's a very cool time of year. Just nick down here and have a look at the dam. A little bit of a dusty photo opportunity. Oh, oh she low. wow. Eh? Geez, how long, when were we here? November. November. Wow. I don't think. Yeah, I haven't seen it that low in a long time. Let's find a nice spot to park somewhere. Wow. Well, here we are, winding our way into the back end of uh, bailing up. Might stop here for a coffee, eh? Yes, please. First bit of off-road? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Really, really good. Yeah. Event ahead, I believe. Bailing Up has its small farm field days on today. Bit of an agricultural type show. Pretty busy. Mm. I believe there might be a couple of coffee shops down the street here. I think we'll go around here and see if we can find somewhere for a coffee. Yeah. Oh look, the scarecrows are back. 
Oh, yeah. They've been missing for a while. Coffee shop there, or coffee shop there. Or coffee shop here. Let's go around here, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, there's always parking in here. Yeah. Excellent. Poking on the corner here, eh? Yeah. You make that look easy. It feels much easier. Just uh, left bailing up, had a cup of coffee, something to eat, and uh, now just going to tackle the bailing up Nanup Road which is, I don't know, I think probably one of the best twisty roads, sealed roads in WA. It's, uh, it's a great ride. So we'll uh, meander our way through here and uh, get out to Nanup on the other side. Blackwood River. Come back and camp here. Yeah, nice little spot for camping here, eh? Mm -hmm. We'll do it. Oh, we'll go and do a spin around the camp area, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the river's low too. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Nice and close to home for a, a first night stop if we want to do a weekend away, this one. Yeah. If it's, Nick away on a Friday afternoon or something, and we can, mm. you know, an hour, an hour and a half down to here. Looks like they're introducing bookings. Yes, I did read that somewhere the other day. people in here. Hmm. Hopefully another month or so and the rain, a bit of rain happens. Yeah. Quite nice. Oh, $15. Coast. Kind of realise how high 
out we are without knowing it. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. That... Yeah. Like from here it actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I don't know how much of you we get to see on it. If I do this, you see me? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, the afternoon is, uh, what is it, 10 to 1, it's warmed up, it's 33 degrees out, so just warm enough now. Yeah, no, uh, no dirt roads. No, we're just going to we'll come back up the highway from uh, Nanup, stopped in Nanup, had a cool drink, and uh, just going to come back up the highway here, call into Busso, have a bit of a look, and uh, then we'll make our way home. So we're just coming down off the high point here you'll see shortly we can see just about right out to the coast from up here you just sort of don't realize how far up you are no, you are what are we elevations 80 83 meters not huge not massive but like when you see out in front of us you're, you're quite high We'll, uh, we'll call this ride done for today. We've just got a bit of road work to get home, so it's been nice. We've got a bit of dirt on the wheels. Um, bike feels really good in the dirt. Um, happy enough, I think. How about you back there? It doesn't slip around under me quite so much on what you did today, so yep. I'm guessing as you get a little bit braver, I'll start to feel a bit more. Yeah. Once the, once the newness wears off. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's that, that whole new bike thing. You just want to take it a little more cautious for a start. Yep. Get get to know the ins and outs and what it can do and can't do. And, and uh, obviously we're still, you know, still learning all the modes and things like that. So Pretty happy. Yeah, emus out there. Emus. Um, yeah, it'll take a couple of rides and then we'll, uh, we'll get into the swing of things. But... Until we get a bit of bloody rain out here, it's uh, yeah, we're sort of limited to just these sort of rides at the moment, but that's okay, it's good. So, uh, <coughs> we're gonna sign off and uh, go and enjoy the rest of the afternoon, and we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one. So, give us a uh, give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and um, see you next time.